So the process of contact tracing, it starts with a recall. You have to remember who you were sitting next to, you have to remember who you interacted with. And that's the only thing that this app intervenes with. It means that poor memory will no longer slow down the process of contact tracing. It provides a, a logbook of those interactions. But the engineering that our GovTech team has spent uh, actually thousands of man hours on is fairly elegant uh, in the sense that it pro preserves a fair degree of privacy. In this app, if two people have the app installed, there's a Bluetooth handshake between their phones, but their phone numbers are not exchanged uh, there's no geolocation data involved and personal identifying data is not exchanged either. Not only helps to do um, downstream contact tracing to, to find out who you might have infected, uh, it is also important to contact trace upstream to uh, try to find out who ha might have infected you so that we can find the source of the infection and therefore we will then be able to expand our contact tracing uh, circle, scope of, uh, of our contact tracing. So this uh, app is very important and we encourage Singaporeans to download them and help us in our contact tracing 